Hey everybody, it's Alika, and today we're gonna make our Ethiopia Worka washed on the Hario V60. This is my standard V60 recipe. Uh, you'll see this show up pretty regularly, and I really like this recipe with this coffee for accentuating the bright, sweet notes, but also the really floral, delicate black tea notes that we associate with Ethiopia Worka. This recipe calls for 14 and a half grams of medium finely ground coffee. This is gonna be a little bit more coarse than a table salt. Um, this calls for 250 grams of 210 degree Fahrenheit water. Ethiopia Worka is a really dense coffee and so hotter water helps me extract all of these great flavors out of our coffee. I'm gonna need a Hario V60 O2, paper filter, decanter, gram scale with timer, a stir stick. I like a thin borosilicate stir stick. Our 14 and a half grams of coffee and a gooseneck kettle set to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. If you like, you can also use a cupping spoon or a large similar size spoon because the first thing I need to do is preheat and pre-wet my filter. This is what we call the spoon hack. Place that right into your V60 and it's gonna hold your filter in place as you rinse your filter without it sagging down and losing its shape. And that's finished draining, you're done with your spoon. Be sure to dump your preheat water. Let's dose our coffee. Shake our brewer flat. Tear our scale, zero our timer, stir stick ready, kettle heated, and we're ready to go. This recipe is gonna be split into three different pours. My first, a 50 gram bloom for 45 seconds, followed by two 100 gram pours that are heavy centralized pours. Start our timer, pour lightly, saturating all of our coffee, spending a little bit more time there in the middle of our brewer. Finishing up at 50 grams. That's finished, take our stir stick, Lightly move it around your brew bed, disrupting any air pockets that might have accumulated during that pour. I'm gonna let this rest for 45 seconds. At 45 seconds, heavy centralized pour, raising this water level up all the way to 150 grams total. is agitating our coffee, distributing heat, increasing flow rate, and giving us a valley shape in our V60. Water's draining out, water's draining down. This is evening out our brew bed, evening out our extraction, giving us a great balance of flavor. At one and a half minutes, I finish my pour all the way up to 250 grams, again, heavy centralized pour, like you're trying to pour out the bottom of your brewer. Drop in the middle, heavy pour. Like I mentioned, these heavy pours help to increase flow rate. And at this stage, this is where Origin takes over and our flow rate's gonna stall, it's gonna slow a little bit. This recipe should finish draining in about two minutes and 45 seconds, which if you notice is a little bit longer than my normal V60 recipe. This Ethiopian coffee needs a little bit more time to extract those flavors and it's gonna take that time. This coffee drains far too quickly. It tastes like tart lemongrass and it's not very strong. It's got that green tart flavor to it. If it drains far too long, it's gonna be really, really bitter, kind of like berry cough syrup, and it's gonna be drying a little bit chalky in that finish. 
but if our coffee drains in our ideal time, two minutes and 45 seconds, or within about 15 seconds, give or take, this coffee is gonna be really well balanced and a great representation of what Ethiopian coffees have to offer. We're gonna taste Earl Grey tea with that citrus bergamot flavor. We'll taste blueberries, typical of this Yirgacheff region. We'll get lemon, and we're gonna get a just a very sweet um, honey aspect to it. And that brew's finished. We're ready to serve and enjoy. Blueberry, lemon, Earl Grey tea, classic Ethiopia flavor notes, especially of the Yirgacheff region. Longer drain time, but we manipulate it with our recipe. Mm. We're gonna get a really balanced cup. We should get that lemon, blueberry, Earl Grey, kind of hitting us all at once before they kind of separate into the finish. Mm. Cheers, enjoy.